This is our future. But how about this? I mean, computer code, that's just a type of language. So you can say, and this is a real example that I tried, GPT, find me a security vulnerability, then write some code to exploit it. So I posted in um, some code, this is from like a, a mail server, and I said, uh, please find any exploits and describe any vulnerabilities in the following code, then write a script to exploit them, and in around 10 seconds, that was the code to exploit it. <laughs> so while it is not yet the case that you can ask an AI to hack a Wi-Fi router, you can see in the double exponential, whether it's one year or two years or five years, at some soon point, it becomes easy to turn all of the physical hardware that's already out there into kind of the ultimate surveillance. Now, one thing for you all to get is that these might look like separate demos. Like, oh, there's some people over here that are building some specialized AI for hacking Wi-Fi routers. And there's some people over here building some specialized AI for inventing images from text. But the reason we show in each case the language of English and computer code, of English and, and images, of, of, um, you know, of, of space, uh, is it, this is all, everyone's contributing to one kind of technology that's going like this. So even if it's not everywhere yet and doing everything yet, we're trying to give you a sneak preview of the capabilities that, and how fast they're growing so we, you understand how fast we have to move if we want to actually start to steer and constrain it. Now, many of you are aware of the fact that um, uh, images can, I mean, uh, uh, the new AI can actually copy your, your voice, right? You can get someone's voice, Obama and Putin, people have seen those videos. What they may not know is it only takes three seconds of your voice to reconstruct it. So here's a demo of the first three seconds are of a real person speaking, even though she sounds a little bit metallic. The rest is just what the computer automatically generated her per se. The people are, real. in nine cases out of ten, Synthetic. mere spectacle reflections of the actuality of things. But they are impressions of something different and more... Here's another one with piano. The first three seconds are real piano. Hey. Indistinguishable, right? So the first three seconds are real piano. The rest is just it's automatically generating. Now, one of the things I want to say is as we saw these first demos, we sat and thought, and like, how is this going to be used? We're like, oh, you know what would be terrifying is if someone were to call up you know, your son or your daughter and get a couple seconds, hey, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong number, grab their voice, then turn around and call you and be like, hey, dad, hey, mom. I forgot my social security number, I'm applying for this thing, what was it again? Um, and we're like, that's scary. We and thought about that conceptually, and then this actually happens. Exactly, and this happens more and more, that we will think of something, and then we'll look in the news, and within a week or two weeks, there it is. So this is that exact thing happening. Um, and then one month ago, you know, an AI clones, teens girl voice, and a one million dollar kidnapping scam. So these things are not theoretical, sort of as fast as you can think of them, people can deploy them. And of course, people are familiar with how this has been happening in social media, because you can beautify photos, you can actually change someone's voice in real time. Those are new demos. Um, some of you may be familiar with this. This is the new beautification filters in TikTok. I can't believe this is a filter. The fact that this is what filters have evolved into is actually crazy to me. I grew up with the doll filter on Snapchat, and now this, this filter gave me lip fillers. This is what I look like in real life. <laughs> Are you, are you kidding me? I don't know if you can tell, she was pushing on her lip in real time, and as she pushed on her lip, the lip fillers were going in and out in real time, indistinguishable from, from reality. And now, you're gonna be able to create your own avatar. This is a, just from a week ago, a 23-year-old Snapchat influencer took her own likeness and basically created a virtual version of her as a kind of a boyfriend, a girlfriend as a service for a dollar a minute, and people will be able to sell their, you know, avatar souls to basically interact with other people in their voice and their likeness, etc. It's, it's as if no one ever actually watched The Little Mermaid. <laughs> um, the, uh, the thing to say is that this is the year that photographic and video evidence ceases to work, right? And our institutions have not caught up to that yet, right? This is the year you do not know when you talk to someone if you're actually talking to them, even if you have video, even if you have audio.